the engineers and the designers need to work together right at the start of a project mm -hmm. because you have to package a car, you have to fit lots of stuff within a car. Mm -hmm. And if you lift up a, a bonnet on any Jaguar, you can see it's absolutely packed full of the technology un underneath there. You know, we, mm -hmm. we always say in Jaguar design, we, we work every millimeter of the exterior surfaces to kind of sh uh, shrink wrap uh, the car to make it look as lithe and elegant and sleek as possible. Engineers are, tend to be driven by rules yeah. and you can evolve those rules but the designers can actually break through and actually ask you to question that whole rule set as a, and the mindset. So uh, that's important because at the beginning of a project we actually start together. So we have a concept of sort of what this product would be. We don't yeah. go and confirm exactly what it's going to look like straight away. Um, it's very important to me uh, and the rest of the company that we understand the design narrative um, in really some detail and it's an advantage that we have in Jaguar that we are very close, um, we're, we're all good friends actually. Yeah. Um, and by having that, understanding that narrative, then we understand right at the beginning the sort of engineering challenges we are going to have to address. It's really interesting, so during the process of um, researching for the book, I. I learned a lot about the two sides of making a beautiful object, so the engineering side or the technology side um, and the creative vision side and in, from both sides those parties are problem solving, yeah. they're challenging what's been done before, they're trying to sort of break new ground, so they're both forms of problem solving um, and the most exciting objects that I've written about in the book that I've seen coming out are the ones where, as you're saying, these two parties are collaborating very closely right from the beginning. So in the case of the artisans in the book, they are working with the engineering teams that can help them understand the potential of these incredible new technologies right from the beginning, even before there is a form. Often people don't think very consciously about their emotional state and so finding ways in which you can have um, suitable feedback or displays which adapt based on emotion is, is tricky and I think um, to kind of speak to the design and engineering um, sort of partnership, the, the more quickly you can iterate and the sort of smaller things that you can take um, with both an engineer and a designer or taking engineer and engineering and design together, the more quickly you can iterate on those things, the easier it is for the engineer to understand the designer and the designer to understand the engineer. And I think actually, in most of these cases, you end up being both. Thank you to the panel. Great, great. Thank you.